The purpose of this video is to familiarize the visitor to the Floyd Lamb Park at Tule Springs with the facilities and the makeup of the park so that your visit can be planned well in advance. To get to the park, the visitor has to reach North Durango Drive, make the right turn at Brent Lane and continue down this road, which eventually leads to the fee booth. Once passing the fee booth, just follow the road around until you come to this point. And this will be your decision point because it depends on what you really want to do at the park. At this point, if you just want to explore the historic area of the park, you simply turn into one of these driveways and park along this point. Then you can visit all of the remaining areas that include the old historic ranch buildings, the guest ranch buildings, and the iconic water tower. This parking lot serves those who want to go fishing or picnicking either in Area 2, which has four covered picnic areas. These are reservable areas, as are all of the covered picnic areas. And this parking lot is also available for those who just want to go fishing. So there's easy access to the main lake in the park, which is Tule Springs Lake. This area, which is just to the left of the main road, is managed by the Nevada Division of Forestry. It contains plants, trees that are native or adapted to the Mojave Desert. The public is welcome to look around that area when they are open. However, the public can't purchase any of the items unless they can prove that they have at least an acre of land that is markedly separate from the city. This represents a closer view of the historic area of the ranch. At one time, this was a guest ranch as well as a working ranch. The guest ranch area actually is all of this. And the functional ranch buildings are along this road here. And again, if you come to just visit and stroll amongst the historic area buildings, you would park in this parking lot and enter the park this way. If you look at some of my other videos, you will get a more detailed view and explanation of the guest ranch portion of the historic district. This is the pathway, which was probably the roadway entrance to the guest ranch. At this point, you'll come to a gazebo, which is something that the parks put in. This was not part of the original ranch. The first building that you will come to is the foreman's house. This is where the ranch owners lived, basically Guman's daughter-in-law and her husband who managed the ranch. When guests came to the ranch, they stayed here at the main guest house. 
This contained four guest units. Also, they could stay at the duplex. This is the historic bridge, which went across a small stream and fish pond to get to the swimming pool area, which is here. This is a 100 feet by 50 foot pool that was spring fed. Other buildings of note, this is that non-functional water wheel. This is the guest gazebo, the barbecue pit. The old pump house was here. This is the water tower, the generator building here, the bathhouse for guests to change into their swimming attire, powerhouse. The uh, granddaughter of Prosper Guman lived here and helped with the social activities at the ranch. This was the artificial wishing well. This structure, which is now a restroom, sits on the site of the Skeet range, which was available to the guests at the ranch. At this point, we will move on to the lakes area, which is the most popular area for picnicking, fishing, and other activities. This gives you the layout of the lake area, which is primarily the area where people go to fish or to have picnics, either small family picnics or large group picnics. As I mentioned before, area two is up here and is approachable from this parking lot over here. The largest lake is Thule Springs Lake. This lake, as well as the others, are stocked periodically with bass, crappie, and bluegill. These brown areas are usually green, and these are dense patches of tules. The other lakes consist of Desert Willow Lake or Willow Lake, Cottonwood Lake, and Mulberry Lake. Notice the covered picnic areas for each one. This would be area three here, area four, and area five here. All of the covered areas are reservable. There are several picnic tables that are not for reservation that anyone can go to on a first come first served basis. This area over here across the street is the old gun club, which was leased from the park when the state had ownership of the park. It is no longer active. The path goes all the way around the park and is approximately 0.82 miles. On any given day, you will see people getting their cardio exercises either by walking or jogging or you'll see some people bicycling around the path. So this is really a great multi-use park. Over in this area, slightly off the screen, is a series of bicycle paths in the desert, as well as a pump track 